Now that I've completed Happy Home Paradise, I keep thinking back to some of the builds that I did when I was first starting the DLC, and um, some of them are not my proudest work. I thought that today it would be fun to go back and look at some of those builds and maybe edit one of them, give it a little bit of an upgrade. Once you progress so far in Happy Home Paradise, you start to unlock more items that you can use in builds and um, abilities to make your builds even cooler, like second story houses, I don't know, stuff like that. And I'm thinking in my head like, wow, that sounds like so much fun to go back and change one of my very crusty old, not so epic builds into something that I can truly be proud of. So let's check it out. Let's see what we got here. So as I'm looking at some of these, I am feeling that some of them are pretty low effort. For instance, this one for Sasha, I wasn't super duper proud of. This one for Maple, I really, really threw the towel in for this one. It was not cute. It was very, very difficult once I got inside. I don't know why, it was just so hard to make like a beautiful, cutesy little cottage core bear build. We also have this one with bones. Yikes. <laughs> I feel a little triggered looking at this one just because like, I remember being so frustrated during it when I was doing it on stream. Oh, I think I'd rather not today. Save myself the anxiety. Bob's was confusing because I really wanted to give him like a kid core type of thing, but he wanted the blooming indoor garden. And I'm like, Bob, that's not your calling. I could redo it and just like do my own thing if I wanted to, because that is a possibility. You could just do whatever you want. I also have this painting school. Let's check this one out because I might actually want to redo this one. Okay, wow. The outside is so pretty. <gasps> How come the inside does not match the same energy? What? And then you get inside and it's like, meh. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, like it's just not cute. You can tell I really gave up. <laughs> Let's do this room a little bit of justice. I think that we deserve to give this one a second chance. The outside is beautiful. I might make a little bit of edits out there towards the end, but inside here, she needs some work. We need to go with that pastel color theme that we do outside with like all the pink and the cherry blossoms. Let's bring that energy indoors. Okay, first thing is first. I'm gonna take everything inside the room and just get rid of it. As much as I'd like to stick with the original floor plan, I I think I'm ready to move on. Typically for schools, I feel like I do a long room like this and then put the desks facing like one direction, but we are not directioners, no ma'am. Let's check on some wallpapers. Right now I have an accent wall with these windows, which I love. I think that's very cute for especially like the paint area. Should this be really fancy though? Like, could we do this and then maybe this? <laughs> Turkey day wall. Turkey day wall I've always been a little confused by. To be honest, I kind of hate it. The All of the little curtains remind me of little turkey necks. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> I believe I'm gonna go with this museum wall, but I am going to switch up the accent wall to this side over here and adjust some of the lighting too, just to make it like a little bit brighter. For flooring, I... <laughs> that is so fancy pants, but I kind of love it. Could also do this. Ooh, I even like the brown version better. I'd like to maintain the original layout that I had with one side being a classroom and one side being like for more like the paints and stuff. So we're gonna put some tables out. Wouldn't it be sort of nice to have like big open tables for workstations? I don't know, maybe not the turkey day table. That looks very fancy, but more of a collaborative workspace. <sighs> they are very big. I just want big tables like that though. Do we... Yes, I guess we do make the room bigger. <laughs> this is going to be so epic. So for a minute there, I sat and I played with the placement of our classroom and I kind of settled on this. I don't know if I'm gonna keep both tables or not yet because there's a lot that I wanna fit in. Obviously, I think I'm gonna end up downgrading to one table, but the classroom in the middle like this was a little bit of a partition wall and then I was thinking of putting the hand washing station back here. But to me, I just think that this is like a little bit more polished looking. A huge uh, downer bummer about partition walls is you can't hang anything. So if we're gonna use partition walls, we might as well have things that are tall up against it, right? Now for the other side, the hand washing station, we obviously need the little hand washing thing. There's a lot of different color options here, but the beige is just screaming at me. This almost looks like it could be paint bottles. 
but it's their real bottles. I don't know, maybe we'll put it by the paint area. Okay, so I think that this looks nice. Uh, don't mind Sky, she's 100% in the way. But this little section right here with a broom and a dustpan, maybe the KK Corral? Coral? Corral? Uh, no. I'm now deciding that it needs to be keys. We love keys. I love using them everywhere. But I added a couple of like apron-y looking outfits and I think it looks pretty on theme and cute back there um, and obscures some of the stuff that maybe is unsightly because this is a very fancy school for fancy people. Okay, it's time. I'm downgrading to just one table, but what is a girl to do? I don't have enough room. I have all of that shenanigans over here. Okay, does this all need to be centered? No. It does not have a little hallway just like that. Boom. See, that's good. That's really good. And then over here is going to be sculpting. So I'm going to move the window wall, boom, to this side. Because wouldn't it be nice to sculpt your beautiful, amazing, gorgeous little sculpture over by the window? We could do better than that. Let's do two. S. I wish we had a painter's tarp rug. Best I can do is a sloppy. <laughs> no, it's not gonna work. Ooh, this turkey day rug is gorgeous though for maybe in our classroom setting. Maybe instead of having something underneath the statues, we could do something underneath this little stash because we're gonna have statues then we're gonna have painting. Okay, no, statues come over here. Come on, go on and get over here. This is going to be painting get some of those puppies out. Okay, we got a lot of big boys over here. Sinking painting. Oh my god, that looks so good. Where's all my painty stuff? Oh, that'd be kind of cool to put a fruit basket. I wish I had a painting that looked like the fruit basket. Going to do some paint cans. Do a scrap book. Um, Casablanca lilies, just because it's elegant and gorgeous. This looks great. I'm gonna put a little table in the middle there, just a little tiny one, and maybe put the painting set on it. Are you seeing the vision? I think it's coming alive. A little painting table, perhaps a stool. I love all of these items, man. Like they really went above and beyond and added so many good things that we're going to use forever. I love this game. Now the painter set, the bane of my existence. It is too big, but it is going there. That's a beautiful little corner. Can I even put it more in the corner? Yes. Yes, I can. I can do whatever I want. It's my school. Now, I think I want another table in that corner. Maybe I'll do the antique long table. Antique, antique, antique. Console table back here. Modeling clay set. Do I even have that? There's an unglazed dish set. That's something. Put another antique mini table back here. Put the pitcher on it. It's kind of like the clay section. We're doing clay over here. We do have to figure out this rug situation. I always have the hardest time putting rugs down. Or should I just like put a deck rug here? So perhaps I could put some miscellaneous items out on this table, make it feel like an art school. Do you think this school is fancy enough to have champagne? <coughs> sure, you know what? We're, uh, we're drinking and we're artin'. Why the heck not? A gyroid is also very necessary for every build, let's be honest. I just love these little stinkers being inside. And then I think I'm just going to do a book. That's cute to me. To me! I don't want to neglect this wall back here, so I'm gonna do this now. I also think that that little itty bitty nook calls for a plant. It's just, it's the perfect item. So we have a painting section of our art school, we have a sculpting section of our art school. Do we add like a little mini library? I see nothing wrong with that being a thing right here. And it helps fill up some of that dead space. I just wish that this game gave me one tilted chair. Wouldn't it be kind of cute to have just like a little chair at a 45 right there? Instead, I think I'm just going to leave it blank because we don't want too much clutter. There's already one side of the room that's very cluttered. And then this is the best school ever, so it has all the awards. Formal papers are not a bad idea either. I believe I can put it up here. Yep, that's perfect. I also think a clock would be nice, right? So we could tell the time in our lovely school. Another thing too was remember how I was talking about these wall shelf bottles? What is stopping me from putting it near the paint section? Nothing. Nothing can stop me. Yes. Yes. 
They kind of look like paint bottles. Oh, I love doing stuff like that. It's just so exciting to me. Okay, that works for me. That's really, really nice and airy in that corner. It's lovely. And now all I have to do is fill out some of the empty space. Shall we use this fine vase? Oh, maybe we'll do a continuation of the sculpting area slash clay thing in this corner. So I have all these vases. I'm going to stick them in the corner here on top of, take a wild guess. It could be one of two things with me. Cardboard box? No. We're going for gold here, baby. We're going to use this wooden crate. I just, I just love her. I am obsessed with this colorway right here of the small vase. Oh, that is so pretty. It speaks to me. Put a little starry night here. Boom. And maybe we'll put a little flowery painting, a little Van Gogh. So far, so good. I really, really like it. I must say there is a lot of clutter. I'm leaning more towards liking the clutter. I would love to play music, so I gotta find a place to put this radio. I gotta do it, put a wooden crate. <laughs> yeah, baby, here we go. Yep, okay, we're doing a wooden crate. It's settled. The more I mess with things, the more insane I feel. So I should probably stop. But am I going to really truthfully? No, cannot stop until it is perfect. Ooh, the lights off is pretty. Oh, that's something that we did forget was to add ceiling decor. I always forget about her. Okay, this is fancy school. So I am not opposed to a spiral chandelier. I'm just gonna dim the lights ever so slightly, but wow, okay. This is Sky's new art school. I think it's a massive improvement from the last one. It definitely matches the vibe way better. Love a good fancy art school. Wish I could put things on the partition wall. Damn it, I will never get over that. I do just wanna check outside one more time and see if there's anything that we wanna change about that. I'm gonna be honest, you guys. Nothing needs to change here. You might think like, well, the inside feels like a little bit more mature than the outside. What if it's just a school for really young, advanced, yuppie artists? That's what this is screaming to me. The outside is gorgeous and lovely. I don't want to mess with her. This is my peak. So originally this home's theme was painting school. Are you sure you want to use the same name? I like the name. <gasps> Ready? Oh, wow. Yeah, I think it worked out really good. <laughs> That didn't work out so good. <laughs> Everything else was great. I love these little movie things that they make as well. It just makes me so happy. And see, this fits Sky so much better. It really does. I don't know what I was thinking with the primary colored school and everything. It's just, it wasn't working. I'm updating my Happy Home Network thing with Sky's Painting School. If you want to come and visit, come check it out. It's right here and my code is up at the top. And you can come visit Sky's new and improved painting school. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you coming to hang out today. Don't forget to come and be social with us. Hang out on Discord or Twitch. I typically stream Monday through Friday on Twitch, so feel free to come pop in. I am also on Twitter, Instagram, all of that good stuff. Feel free to check it out. I hope you're having a great day and I hope you continue to do so. And if you need to go and fix one of your ugly happy homes to make yourself happy, do it, damn it. I will see you in the next one.